Hey guys, this is Shizuboy24 and today I've got your tutorial on Visual Basic on how to make a advanced web browsers. Um, the code should be on the description. So if you just click the link you can get the codes. So um, we're going to start off um, by making our Windows form application quite big. Uh, let's see how big it is. It's the size is 1,940 to 1,090. Um, okay, and we're gonna have a menu strip at the top, and we're gonna have file. We have add tab, remove tab, new window, and then the separator. Would you just click this arrow here and separator? Print under the separator. Print preview page setup website properties and excerpts. For the tools we'll have HTML editor and options. Bookmarks will have add current page and show all. And for history, see all history and delete history. And I have spelt delete history wrong. Okay. Now as you can see I have some shortcut keys. To do that you will have to click on this on the on one of the things that you want to have a shortcut key. So I'll click on the delete history just once and it will open up the properties page right here. You want to go down to shortcut keys. Uh, for you it's going to have none and then you click the combo box. And click control, alt or shift, you can do either. And then press the um, button you want to press to use for the sh shortcut key and once you've done that it will pop up here and that will be your sh shortcut key um, we need a combo box and combo box are right here just like that you can make how big you want you got um, one two three four five six and seven buttons I like to use the flat style and to use the flat style you like just click on the button go up to um, flat size and click what one you have what want, want. you've got pop up standard system I like to use flat looks much better here's a text box um, this is to go back this one's to go forwards this one goes refresh this one's for home this one's to go this one's to stop and this one's to search so um so let's look at the code. This is the code. Um, where it says public class form one, underneath you want to put this, and file add tab, and for the tab, which is here, you want to put the following down. Um, remove tab is this one right here for a new window I didn't put anything print is C type bracket tab control one dot selected tab dot controls items bracket zero brackets comma web browser brackets dot show print dialog close same for the show print preview and print and show page um, setup dialog apart from it has page setup dialog and print preview dialog and print dialog for each one but pretty much from there to there to the dots is the same okay um, you'll find all the codes in the description uh, website properties will have the same as the rest as the print one, C type, etc. Dot show properties dialog closure. Exit it ends right there. And that will end the program. Um, next time or next video which will be coming maybe next week or be coming soon we'll be doing these HTML to options and bookmarks and maybe history if you can fit all of these in 
Um, that's all you need to know. For the go, it's this. That's for the go button. Search um, is this one right here. Nice and simple. Um, this um, it is a tab. So if you scroll down here, we have tab controls. As, as you can see, here's a tab control. To remove the tab, you right click and select remove tab. That will remove the tab. And you want it. Um, the size is 2006 to 958. And we have a um, progress bar. To select that, we'll need a tool strip. No, we don't. We need a. Uh, I think it's a status. Yes, it is. Status, click this one, and then progress bar. And for the progress bar, you don't need that. Um, I didn't put anything, so. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for these buttons and the file and the tab control. We have nothing either. So, yes, um, next video will be using tools, bookmarks, and history, which will complete your. Um, web browser. To put the name on the top, you just click the form and press. Go on the text on the properties and type whatever you want on it. To change the icon, you do it again. Click the form, go to the properties icon, and then you can browse. Um, I'll debug it for you to see. My navigation's um, web page was cancelled um, because I still got to work on it on the navigation but everything's working add tab, it'll add remove tab, new window print, print preview page setup website properties and exit and that will end it and um, for security, uh, not security, if you go on um, right click on that and click on properties it will bring you up to this page you want to go on settings, home page, make it as a string and you want to type in um, any of your home page any URLs like www.http etc google.com and favorites you do the same history you don't need to do anything but I'll put your home page down just in case because it might not work these are all strings so don't change it and um, yes remember the code is in the description so yeah, go and check that out, and I hope you can make your web browsers, and um, hope this video helped, so give it a rating, and maybe subscribe, so yeah, um, next video we'll be covering tools, bookmarks, and histories, so yeah, see ya.